the lawnmower blenny, aka the algae, sailfin, jewel blenny, or even the rock skipper, are one of the quirkiest fish in a saltwater environment. They make excellent hide and seek champions thanks to their clever camouflage. They're a slender fish with a blunt head and a magnificent dorsal fin that's almost as long as they are. Their eyes are unique as most blennies, with a face that almost reminds one of an iguana or a frog. These chunks, excuse me, blennies, are as beneficial as they are fun to watch. They're a peaceful fish who will quickly get to work living up to his name as he plows through the algae. I've quickly learned that I may get one that looks trim, but within weeks, his dad gut soon begins to show. Don't be tempted to put these fish, no matter how small you buy them, into a nano tank. Because of their possible size of 5 to 6 inches, and in some recorded cases even bigger, these lawnmowers need a tank of 30 gallons or bigger. Now, their ideal environment includes a temperature range of 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, with a pH of 8.1 to 8.4. They love a tank with plenty of live rock. Worky rocks escape to have some nooks and crannies and plateaus for them to explore and perch on. The more you have, the more entertained they'll be. You'll also need an abundance of algae. If you got hair algae, great. You've got plenty of food for them. I do recommend seeing at your fish store, local fish store if he'll eat frozen or pellets. Mine do, so I know they'll get plenty of nutrients all around. They are herbivores though, so make sure you have plenty of nori on hand ready for them to eat. If you have algae growth in the tanks, especially under glass, you're soon going to see these track marks from their teeth as they clean the glass. In time, those glass cleaning moments that you have become fewer and fewer. Keep them fed, however. Your SPS or clam mantles will become a snack for them otherwise. Some say that because of this, they're not reef safe, but honestly, I've had excellent luck with mine. Your mileage may vary, though. Despite their chunky look, these guys have an Olympic-esque jump to them. Keep a lid on your tank. Otherwise, your blenny will be no more. Now, these guys are peaceful, but you're still only going to want one per tank. And keep an eye if you have other blennies. Sometimes they get aggressive with other blennies that look similar to how they do. Also, keep them away from sensitive species like seahorses, but that almost goes without saying. Otherwise, this is one of my absolute favorite fish to not only keep because they're beneficial, but their temperament, their quirkiness, and overall fun that they add to the tank is absolutely worth it. If you're a beginner, this is an excellent fish for a beginner tank, and you'll have plenty of luck with them due to their hardy nature. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the video helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Have a great night and God bless.